Good morning. My name is Ray Potenta. I'm the MCC Specialist for Turtle and Hughes. Today we'll be talking about Rockwell's offering of motor control centers, uh, and they're both intelligent and safe. So people say, what is a motor control center? Basically, it's an assembly to control all or some of the electric motors from a central location. It consists of enclosed sections having a common power bus, and containing starters, VFDs, or soft starters. You can also put in that MCC feeder breakers, transformers, distribution panels, and other specialized components like metering and surge suppression. Typically, you would bring in your wire feed from the top or the bottom, run it through a main breaker or a main lug, and the power would be distributed through the MCC through a horizontal bus that runs down the middle of the MCC horizontally. Then each vertical section would take the power, provide it up and down so that units can be plugged in, or if the current draw is high, units can be hardwired to the horizontal bus. Everything is located in a central location, and then you just have to run your wires to your load. So the two most, most requested enhancements by customers are, I need increased intelligence, and I need this product to be safe. So Rockwell has answered that call by using a network. Currently, it's Ethernet IP. It started out as DeviceNet, but we've migrated because Ethernet is the network that all customers want to connect to. Customers want a window into their process. They want to be able to communicate with all the devices in the MCC and gather information. They also want to be able to control them over a network, monitor them over a network, perform diagnostics over that network, and also do predictive maintenance. In the past, you'd have to hardwire to every starter. It was a lot of cables, and even if you try to make it intelligent by connecting to a PLC, you had to wire all those I.O. points back to I.O. cards, which was a big task. So Ethernet uh, and Telecenter technology came to be. Again, started out as DeviceNet. Today we're using Ethernet, and that technology, when you buy an Intellicenter, is it's, it's installed at the factory, it's configured and tested at the factory. So when you receive the MCC, it's ready to go. All of the intelligent controls are installed. They include the PowerFlex family of 520 and 550 drives, the SMC3 and Flex soft starters, the intelligent overloads E1 Plus, and the newer E300. And there's IntelliCenter software to help make it all work. And you get enhanced performance through that system-wide communication. The value proposition for IntelliCenter is faster integration. The network, like I said, is pre-configured at the factory. All the node numbers are there. The IP addresses are populated. The board rates, board rates are set. And the MCC is functionally ready to go much faster uh, than having to hardwire that I.O. And the benefits you get are superior control and diagnostics. Uh, the bottom line is you get improved uptime, which results in less downtime, which is what every customer is after. In addition to the state-of-the-art motor controlling devices, the other pieces of the puzzle that make this work are the Stratix 5700 managed switch, which you can get in 6, 10, 20, or 30 port versions. And you can get it with five, five ports if you need it. It's unit mounted in a, in a bucket. That's, that's a plug-in bucket. Also, you get a 24-volt Ethernet power supply to supply any components like the switches and some of the overloads that might require 24-volt DC. The options with that power supply are redundancy, and you can get an external network connector and 120 volt outlet. So your electrician or technician can now roll up with a laptop, plug it in, connect to the network without even opening a door. This IntelliCenter technology 
definitely simplifies and enhances PLC and HMI integration. See on the next slide that IntelliCenter software automatically builds your I.O. tree for all the intelligent devices in your MCC. It auto-generates uh, device tags using the add-on profile. You have full integration uh, between power and control for the Rockwell products. You get some exclusive integration capabilities. What, Intelli uh, what IntelliCenter technology gives you is it gives you a system-wide dashboard. You can view the entire MCC through a dashboard that's already configured at the factory, pull out all kinds of great information about power, current usage, and, and do some trending. You can drill down to each individual bucket that sits on Ethernet and get a component-level dashboard. And uh, the upper right-hand quadrant there, you can sort of look like an eye chart, but you can see there are some dials and gauges that actually give you re real-time data and gives you the ability to do remote diagnostics. Also, some trending and logging at the bucket level. You also get HMI support, all those ActiveX and IMC faceplates provided that enable simple integration with your HMI. And you, you have the benefit of also having all the documentation, all the user manuals, all the wiring diagrams, and all the spare parts lists provided on a CD that's loaded into the software so that the operator can go right up to the screen and pull all that information up. He's not having to scramble for paper or other manuals that are in paper form. So the 2100 series of motor control centers have a lot of advantages over other types of enclosures. Customers who just build enclosures for motor starters and drives, this is a more centralized, dependable, factory proven uh, solution. It gives you maximum uptime. It gives you the ability to service and maintain and provide a safe work environment. And the other thing it does is do fault containment. So from IntelliCenter software, we're gonna discuss a little bit about some of the safety features that Rockwell offers. Rockwell came up with this product called Secure Connect. It's an option on buckets and it's based on the amperage of the buckets. It's offered on buckets which use a main breaker that's 250 amps or less. It gives the operator the ability with a hex key to go up to the bucket with a twist, retract the three power stabs that are on the back of the bucket and remove those from the vertical bus. So what this does is it ensures that there is absolutely no power in the bucket where the operator opens the door. So the procedure is you flick the handle to off, Start the key, turn it a quarter of a turn. No stabs retract up off the horizontal, up off the vertical bus, and each one of them makes a little micro switch in that housing there. That micro switch then allows you to take your meter, go to the front of the bucket, and there's a port there where you can actually double verify that the flag is up, which tells me I have no power. Also, I can insert my probes into that port and verify that all the limit switches are made, and that in fact all three stabs are retracted. That bucket is dead, has no power at all. So what this does is it allows someone now to approach the bucket, turn the power off, retract the stabs, open the bucket, knowing that it's safe inside. And it's based on individual buckets. So you can say, I want it here, I don't want it in this one. We're never going to that bucket. So you can specify it down to the bucket level. Yes, I want it. No, I don't want it. An Encompass partner has come up with a way to actually activate that hex key with a motor drive. So it gives you the ability to either stand outside of the arc flash zone and use a wireless controller or a hardwired connector and allows you to retract those stabs. Again, a, a nice option. We have one customer that purchased it. He's very happy with it. It's part of their ArcFlash uh, containment program. 
again, here's the motor drive that installed on the front of the bucket temporarily, and you could stand up to 30 feet away, and which is outside of the 10-foot arc flare zone, and kill the power in that bucket. And that's called Secure Connect. In general, we're talking about arc flash hazards. And what are arc flash hazards? If you have a fault in an MCC, you can have temperatures that reach 35,000 degrees. Uh, it causes metal to turn to plasma, and you, you have um, a burst of energy that the MCC typically would not be able to contain. And this molten metal would come through the door and injure people. There's also, also uh, an acoustical hazard where you can have a, a 160 dB bang that'll injure people's hearing. Uh, I have a blast of 1,000 pounds per square foot on a person who stands in front of that. There's a lot of flying components that'll come out of that door uh, in terms of molten metal and other products. And this can kill people up to 10 feet away. So different companies have different levels of personal protection. So can you imagine being an electrician having to go look at a starter and having to uh, don all this protective gear, double gloves and the hood and all that stuff. It's very difficult to work on any kind of equipment with that kind of equipment on. Some, some companies are very stringent on how you have to don this personal protection equipment to view any open panel. So Rockwell has two offerings in terms of arc shield. Again, and that's an option when you purchase an MCC, you can specify that I want arc shield. The first option they call device limited, and it handles uh, amperages from 1,200 amps and below. With that, uh, you get a couple of options like automatic or manual shutters. Uh, you get ground bus top and bottom. You get special arc shield latches and a special arc shield, arc shield baffles. Those things are really designed to take the energy and release it from the MCC. Rather than blow off the door, these spring-loaded latches allow the energy to escape, but yet the door not be blown off. The other option for over 1,200 amps and up to 3,000 amps is called duration limited arc shield, 100 millisecond. And again, it's a much more robust construction. Get beefed up metal, and you also have uh, vents out the top of the MCC. So you need to keep the first 12 inches above the MCC clear to allow the escape of energy. The energy escape is directed upwards. So it gives us a solution for any amperage up to 3,000 amps. Uh, arc shield, I probably see about two thirds of the time. Okay. It's a Joe Latito job, it's 100% of the time. Very big on that. Sure. Arc shield and IntelliSim, they sort of go together. Okay. When you look at the MCC, you say, what, what am I getting that's different? Uh, when they have the side covers where the bus bolts, you get special insulation there. You get special heavy-duty ground stabs. You get special arc-resistant baffles. And if you look at them, they, you can't really see through the baffle. The baffle is sort of a V-shape to it. So it gives the energy a chance to make its way through that V and cool. And you get those spring-loaded arc containment latches that keep the doors on but allow the MCC to almost burp and release that energy without uh, having a door come off. That's called device limited. Uh, our shield. Most of the ones that we sell are 1200 amps and below. When you go to the higher rating ones, again, beefier construction. The major difference is you have the pressure relief system out the top, which is why you have to keep the uh, top clear. You get stronger latches, and you also have the issue because you can't have baffles in this type of MCC. We're limited on some of the drives and soft starters in terms of what size we can offer. That's the only really downside. The other thing ArcShield helps you with is with the labeling. 
our shield MCCs contain the proper labeling to meet the codes and warn people of the potential hazard of shock. So if we look at, again, the ArcShield MCC, you have an extensive list, list of safety features. Uh, that ArcShield technology can actually help reduce your arc flash hazards, which is a big thing that customers are interested in. It's the first MCC to offer this, all these features in one nice neat package. It provides type two accessibility, which basically means that the MCC is safe on the front, the sides, and the back. It's just the top that you need to keep clear. When you add IntelliCenter technology, you're basically giving access to every bucket in there over a network. So there's no reason for people to even go near the MCC anymore. You can keep those doors closed and keep people out of that R flash boundary because they can view everything over the network and over the HMI. Email address is there. If you have any questions, need me to do any takeoffs, have any questions, that's how you get a hold of me. And I would appreciate any questions you can email to me and uh, we can get you answers. I would say that uh, three quarters of the MCCs that I work up are intelligent and are arc shield or, and or both. That just seems to be the way the market's going today. And Rockwell has an offering that can help us be competitive. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jen, call me whenever you get a chance. Will do. Thank you.